God damn it. Again. You know, I haven't talked about this individual that I'm about to make a rant about yet. Because before, he really never has spoken, said anything that really affects me or something that pisses me off as, as someone that is trying to cover the video game industry as a career or as someone that wants to share his experience and enjoyment of playing a game with sharing my own personal sides of it with the world and seeing how I react to it because I want people to see what it's like for me to experience something for the very first time. And of course, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm talking about Phil Fish, the creator, the creator of Fez, who I believe is, you know, lots of people say that indie game developers don't, um, don't get treated with enough respect, you know. But if there is a single person out there, a single indie game developer out there that deserves fucking everything that comes to him, it's Phil goddamn motherfucking fish. Because I believe that this man is more successful at pissing everyone off than he is at making games. Fez was a wonderful game, but sometimes some people need to realize when they need to shut their goddamn fucking mouths. I mean, this guy said he is leaving the game industry altogether. He says, because after Marcus Beer, which is a guy that you really, really need to follow, he's a, a great person who tells everything the way it is, and I, and I agree with mostly everything that Marcus Beer has to say. Go follow him on Twitter, at Annoyed Gamer. He is one of, one of the best in this industry when it comes to calling things the way they are. I really recommend you go follow him. Anyways, so what happened was uh, earlier this, uh, earlier last year on Twitter, he called, Marcus called out Phil Fish um, during a show he was on in on game trailers, uh, telling him how much of an asshole he is. And because it's true, Phil Fish is a fucking asshole. And what does Phil Fish do? He harasses Marcus Beer on Twitter for several times, telling him, tell, now I, I, I'm paraphrasing here because I you know, can't remember every single detail, but Phil, but Phil told Marcus to kill himself and he told Viacom and Game Trailers to also go kill themselves. Because that is, of course, how a completely sane, normal person would fucking react to a guy on the internet, right? Right? Wrong. And then, after Phil Fish says he is canceling Fez 2 and he is quitting the game industry in general, he just said, he pretty much said, fuck you guys, I'm out, you win, fuck you. That's pretty much what he said on Twitter, okay? And that was pretty close to, if not exactly, one year ago when this, when this occurred. And then, after barely having any activity on Twitter at all so far this year, he says something that has pretty much set my, has set my, set my asshole on fire. Which, re, which by that is code for, it really pisses me off. So. Here we go. This is an exact, this article is coming from GameSpot, and this is the exact quote that Phil Fish has said. He said, 
YouTubers should have to pay out a huge portion of their revenue to the developers from which they steal all their content. Ad re he then continues to say, ad revenue should be shared with developers. He continued, this should be built into YouTube. Anything else is basically piracy. He continues on with, uh, with his assholery on Twitter, continuing to say, he says, if you generate money from putting my content on your channel, you owe me money. Simple as that. His next tweet says, If you buy a movie, are you then allowed to stream the entirety of it publicly for people to watch for free? No, because that's illegal. Next tweet. Systems are in place to prevent that. But buy Fez, put all of it on YouTube, turn on ads, make money from it, and that's totally fine. And the developer should in no way be compensated for their work being freely distributed to the world. Right. Makes sense. So, here's the thing. Phil. Here's the thing. You of all fucking people should know this. When a person uploads their own gameplay footage that they captured and they put it on YouTube to share with the world. Their experience is not going to be like that in any fucking way. Here's the thing that makes video games different from movies. A film is a passive experience. That is all you can do. You cannot interact with a movie. You cannot... But I'm... I'm no, yeah, I'm really making, I'm making a video. I'm trying to make my point across. So, whenever you get a computer, I, I mean, fuck, a controller, you, whenever you watch a movie, okay, you can't just take any controller, you put it in your hand, and then you just start moving the controller, or moving the characters along. You can't do that, okay? That is not something you do, because a movie, that is all it is. It is a single passive, it is a passive singular experience and it shouldn't be uploaded onto YouTube because that is wrong because that is the only way that you can view a movie. However, with a video game, every single person's experience with that single game is going to be completely different, okay? Whenever you play as a character in a game, you are not going to move him the exact same way. You are not going to, let's just, this is the only thing I've got in my mind so far. If you take Wolfenstein The New Order, for example, Okay, you're BJ Blaskwix. If you, if one Nazi moves this way in your game, and you, for example, uh, and for example, you get him with a machine gun, okay? Let's say that the next person in their game, in that exact same spot, ha uses, instead, there's a Nazi coming this way. And instead of using a machine gun and gets in that way, instead he uses a pistol with a silencer. Completely different because the person playing chooses how they experience their game. And so that every person's experience with every single video game is going to be different. And that is why Phil Fish, the creator of Fez, that is why video games are completely different from movies and why they cannot be compared in any way to movies. Can they be compared by, yes, the two of them have a story, but it's the way in which you interact with them that makes them a completely different experience and why you shouldn't be able, why you shouldn't have to pay a game developer. You wanna know why? Because, there are several game developers that are completely fine with people streaming their games. 
streaming them, making gameplay footage of them. For example, with my fucking Destiny footage, with me playing the Destiny Alpha, people were completely fine with me playing the Destiny Alpha on YouTube. You want to know why? Because Bungie says, yeah, go ahead, it's fine. But just because you, Phil Fish, say that, just because you as an individual, in your opinion, say that every game developer should be paid for every single person that makes a video of them playing on YouTube, just because you think that way, that doesn't mean that that's the way it should be because that's your opinion and you do not rule the fucking internet and you don't tell every single YouTuber this is how you should do it, this is how it works because you have no fucking control over that so you need to shut your fucking mouth. Why the fuck did you rise up from the, rise up from the silence of the internet inter anyway? You know, you said that you're done with the game industry. So if you really are done with the game industry, why did you fucking come back? If you say that you are done with the game industry, then stop spouting out your mouth. Okay? This is what you're doing. You know what you need to do with it? Stop. Every... Almost every single goddamn thing that comes out of your mouth is fueled with negativity and cynicism when you're just one person and you're trying to make and you're tr you're trying to fucking tell other people what they should be doing on how they produce their content. Fuck you. Just crawl back down into that hole that you were in close to a year ago when you said you were done with Fez 2 and never come out of it. Because really, Phil Fish, if you've lost your passion for video games, don't ruin other people's enjoyment of them. And don't ruin what people want to do with them, okay? Now go back down, shut the fuck up, and never open your fucking mouth again. Because really, it's useless. Everything you're saying right now is useless. Okay? So, why don't you take a piece of fucking tape, put it over your mouth, and never say some, and never speak out publicly again. You don't deserve to, Phil. You fucking don't. Goodbye.